What's up everybody, I am in downtown Columbus, and, uh, I'm uh, shooting some downtown landscape, if there is such a thing, see uh, the downtown skyline here in Columbus, Ohio, I am on the, uh, the Main Street Bridge, it's a shame I've been here my, practically my whole life, most of it, still forget what the name of the bridge is. Pretty sweet bridge. Got the uh, steel construction. I'll show you. It's a uh, suspension bridge. Pretty sweet project. Right down here. It's one of the centerpieces of the downtown area when the festivals run around. Come around. It's a pretty place to take pictures. You can see the full skyline. Our downtown is not exactly huge, it's not small, but Columbus is a big spread out city. It's really spread out, it's not really localized. It's a lot of areas. It's the center of science and industry, aka Coastside, but we'll go get a closer look. And I'm down here shooting with the uh, Minolta uh, Freedom 3, fully auto. Um, camera, nothing fancy, I don't got the X370, but I'm uh, going to try to get some close-ups to see what the, uh, the landscapes look like down here. Um, we got it loaded with the uh, City Steel 50 Daylight. There was a little bit of sun out, but it sadly has been covered by clouds. And as you can see, a real popular place real popular backdrop. Now there's a little bit more clear view of the Main Street Bridge. It goes over the Scioto River. Uh, they really opened up this space. This is just now, all this construction just now complete after about, I'd say, four or five years. You really come down here. Uh, there's a, that's a science museum called Kosai. Really nice. I've been going there basically my whole life. Well, it wasn't always right there, it was over on Broad Street, but they, uh, that used to be Central High School, now they added on to it the Center of Science Industry, aka, or better known as COSI. And they did a lot to really open up this space down here. That uh, barrier over there used to be right next to the wall, right next to the water, and it just crumbling and got really, really scary. This is the end result. All this grass wasn't here. They uh, did a, rent, a land reclamation project and opened up all this green space that you see right over there. Okay, I'm still down here on the waterfront hanging out with my buddy right here. Uh, I think this was done through a, a grant through the Ohio Arts Council. Ohio is a, a high, Columbus, Ohio is a high art conscientious uh, city. This is an old historical marker. That's what this land used to look like. All scary and stuff. Not safe. This lovely space is called the Scioto Mile. Um, they got done with this about eight years ago. Real nice walkway. They have the 
Jazz Rib Fest, Latino Fest, Italian Fest. Well, not the Italian Fest, it's over in the Italian Village. Let me take that back. But, um, uh, Red, White, and Boom, one of the biggest freaking uh, fireworks display in the whole country. All this whole area is lined up with fireworks, and just millions of folks come down here. Nice public benches. That's actually a swing bench. Uh, fountain treatments. They're running when it's spring and summer and fall. But we are in the dead of winter. But you couldn't tell because normally it'd be too cold and snowy for me to be even out here to do this. But luckily we have a nice February day. Now, over there, that's the Levesque Tower, and I like to go up on their parking garage, because it's unobstructed, and uh, shoot uh, long shots, so that's where I'll take you guys next. Alright, this is Broad Street. Uh, I usually go up on that parking garage right there, to the Levesque Tower, and uh, shoot some shots. A uh, really high vantage point, unobstructed and kind of free. Well, not kind of, but it is free. A lot of parking garages have to pay to get into. I'll see you up there. And here I am, up on the top of the um, parking garage at the Levesque Tower, you can see there's lots of big open land here. Thankfully Columbus, Ohio is flat, I don't really like hilly areas, <laughs> but you can see a little bit of the up, upper downtown landscape. Uh, I'm gonna go down there, that Beacon building. I've taken that photograph a million times and I have to take it a million more. It's uh, one, an old sign. Uh, I'm gonna get a little close to show you. Here's a little piece of a uh, photo tip for you. Uh, you know, when you're hanging over the edge shooting yourself and you see that edge back rear back real slowly I'm not afraid of heights and I have real good balance but I still get disoriented when I take the camera away from my face and I'm hanging over the edge so be careful and as you can see that beacon sign right there I photograph that a lot I don't know it really attracts me because I'm like eye level on it when it's so up high you can see I'm pretty up high here alright back to high street my photo walk is almost over I'm about at 27 exposures but I'm going to stop around 32 because I don't know if my camera got jammed up a little bit because it's not then went back to one, so we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog, a uh, little photo walk. I'm gonna continue tonight. Um, catch the next episode. It's a gallery hop tonight, and a skating rink is gonna open, so I'm definitely gonna hit both of those areas. I'm gonna bring up the City Steel 800T finally. Um, I've been saving it for a night shoot, so I want to uh, catch those highlights, specular highlights that they produce on that uh, Kodak Vision 5218 with the ramjet coating removed. And uh, this is High Street, it's kind of a uh, big artery to downtown, out of downtown. That way is Ohio State campus if you go up about a mile and a half. And uh, that way is the uh, south side of Ohio, not Ohio, Columbus, Ohio, so 
Yep, that's it. Thank <laughs> you.